Hey everyone on YouTube, this is Jeff from jeffmobile.com. Today I'm giving a rather technical tutorial on the Oculus Quest. This tutorial will talk about my efforts in getting text to speech working on the Oculus Quest, also known as TTS. If you look at back at my YouTube videos on my channel, I have a very popular video from several years ago where I talk about how to get your Android phone to read books aloud to you using the built-in apps and apps you can install on your Android phone. So I was really curious to see if it's possible to get the Oculus Quest to also do text-to-speech to read books aloud. And I did discover a way to do it. However, it involves some programming that I haven't done yet, but I definitely have proven that it is possible to get the text-to-speech working on the Android um, device that's built into the Oculus Quest. So let me give you a brief tutorial of what I've discovered so far and hopefully if you're a developer or interested in incorporating text-to-speech into your Oculus Quest apps, you can follow the instructions in my video and it hopefully should give you some tips about this. Some background about me, I'm a software developer based in Vancouver, Canada. I work for a large tech company. In my hobby time, I've been tinkering with the Oculus Quest and learning about it in view of possibly creating my own app in the future. So let's dive right into the Oculus Quest and I'll show you what I've discovered so far. Okay, so I'm at the Quest home menu and I'm going to go into library and I'm going to show you what are the unknown sources apps I've installed so far. Uh, I've installed SideQuest, so if you go to SideQuest online you can install set up SideQuest, you have to set up developer mode on your Quest and then you can install all, all these side loaded apps. So I've got the SideQuest launcher as well. I've also installed the basic um, browser version of Firefox. This is not the Firefox VR, which I've also installed. This is just the regular Firefox browser. I've also installed the plain version of VLC for Android, which allows you to play video files and music files on Android. And I just downloaded this one from the VLC website via the APK. Uh, I've also installed an app called Talk Free, which is available you can get the APK on apkmonk.com or anywhere else we can find APKs, but I definitely find APK Monk is probably a safer place to get it from because they're generally are virus free, but uh, it's up to you how you get your, your APKs. I've also installed an app called Voice Aloud Reader, which I was trying out how to get it to read voice aloud. However, this one doesn't work on the Quest because it requires the Google Play Store. I want a very useful app to use on the Quest is called Settings Launcher, which lets you access the uh, native Android settings menu within your Quest. So I'll, I'll show you that in a second, how I installed Settings Launcher, but for now, let's launch it up. So this lets you access the Android settings, similarly to how you would on a phone. So I'll scroll down to Languages and Input. And this gives you a bunch of options. So I'll go to text to speech output. And you can see right away there in the latest version of the Quest OS, which is uh, release 17 for me, I have, I'm now able to get into the screen. Previously, I tried to get in here with the earlier builds of the Quest and I wasn't able to get in due to some error crashing. We can now see that Pico TTS is the available engine for text to speech. And it has some settings so we can change the language Fortunately, we only support English US right now. Under settings for Pico, Pico TTS, you can see it only has English USA installed. All the other languages are not installed. Unfortunately, I tried to install more languages, but it just crashes at that screen. So unfortunately for this uh, text-to-speech setup right now, you're stuck with English. And I tried doing this install voice data option, but unfortunately that crashes the settings app. So we're pretty much stuck with English US for now. You can adjust the speech rate and the pitch and the part which is should work is you click here listen to an example play a short demonstration of speech synthesis so i click on this and unfortunately nothing happens so i was really curious why nothing happens when you do this and i was able to use the log cat feature of the sidequest adb debugger to view what kind of error messages are appearing when this happens, so you can really figure out why it isn't playing the text-to-speech audio. So let's jump back into the SideQuest on the desktop. So I'll go into SideQuest and 
under the top you can see well first of all I'll show you how to install these various launchers so if you go to the top of SideQuest and type launcher press enter you'll see all these launchers the one that I was showing you in the Android um, system settings launcher is this one here so you can install that one I also recommend installing the side quest launcher which let, lets you install APKs on your quest without having to use side quest it also lets you launch various apps another good one to install is a maze but you have to get the APK for a maze file manager and then install it using the um, install APK file from folder or computer but let's go into the debugger that I mentioned so if you click over here run adb commands and click logcat and i'm going to search for pico debug and click start go back into my settings menu and i'm going to click play a short demonstration of speech synthesis again i'll hit that twice and then I'll go back into the computer. You can see here the message that it has appeared. It says, update app ops play audio, check op op play audio for com svox pico returns one. It's coming from a service called audio track. So I copied this message out and I did a bit of research into the Android source code where this is coming from. This is coming from the service in Android that determines whether you're allowed to do various operations. Check op is telling the Pico TTS engine whether it's the, it's allowed to play audio or not, and it's returning a code of one, which means it's not going to crash the service that's calling it, but it's just going to ignore it. So it's just not going to play the audio. So what this means is most likely in the Quest, when Oculus or Facebook was developing it, they customized the Android OS to prevent anyone from playing audio in the background. However, what this does indicate is that the uh, Pico text-to-speech engine is working and, and it's able to generate the text-to-speech output, but it's just not able to play it uh, on your Quest speakers. But my theory is that, which I've proved to be correct, is if you use the option in text-to-speech API in Android to save the text-to-speech output to a file rather than playing it through the speaker, you can save this file, say a WAV file, on your Quest storage and then use another API to play it back in the foreground. This means you can use the text-to-speech engine that way. So let me give a brief example of how that might work. So I'm back in the Quest menu and now let's go and use the other app which I installed, which I briefly mentioned under unknown sources. It's called Talk Free. You can install this one by using apkmonk.com and getting APK and then side loading it via SideQuest. So Talk Free is an app that allows you to enter some text and then it will read it aloud. It's a very simple app. So unfortunately, because Quest doesn't have copy and paste, you can just type something here. So hello from Oculus Quest. We love you. And I'll put exclamation mark. Okay, so this is what I wanted to say. And I go up to the menu here and I actually just hit the play button. It's trying to speak it aloud, but if you look in the log cat, it's giving the same message that it's not able to play it. However, I can go up here and go export as WAV file. And I'll type a file name, example, TTS dot wave. Click go. Click OK. So this file has now been saved in this folder, example TTS wave dot wave. Do you want to open it now? Yes, we want to open it now. It should allow me to pick an app to open it with. Unfortunately, that doesn't work. So I'll go into library, unknown sources, open up VLC. 
and go browsing, internal memory, go down to talk. Here's my example TTS. Balloon from Oculus Quest. We love you. Balloon from Oculus Quest. We love you. Balloon from Oculus Quest. We love you. So that's that's example of text to speech that was generated on the Oculus Quest. And I'll briefly go into the Android API so you can see how you could call this same function that this talk program uses and then make use of this WAV file within your application. So if you look at the debug messages appearing here. You can see what's happening with the Pico engine. So it says successfully bound, engine name connected to, setup connection, and it's not able to play the audio, but it was able to save it to a file. Uh, if we go into the file browser and under talk, example tts that we that way we can download this file put it on the desktop and you can see that this file is here and if i open it up with audacity you can see that the file is contains the audio that we wanted let's give a brief tutorial about text to speech on android so let's go to google and I'll search for text to speech Android write to file. How to store text to speech output as a WAV file. And this is a basic simple example. So if you go to this page, it should give you some sample code. And there is a method called synthesize to file. This is pretty much, if you're a developer, you could use this information to basically implement what I just showed, but making your text-to-speech output go to a WAV file. Synthesize to file. So it has different versions. You can output it to a file descriptor, a file object, or this is for a file name. Um, but there's different, different ways to do it, depending on your Android API level. Uh, so this is pretty much what I wanted to talk about for how to get text-to-speech working on your Quest. And uh, if you have any questions, please leave your comments below. Hope you have a great day and good luck with Quest development. I hope to see you back again very soon. For more videos from me, please click the subscribe button below. And I look forward to talking to you again very soon. Bye-bye for now.